Hi, and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today, we will be cooking Chinese noodle in fragrant scallion oil, or tong yu mian. So let's start cooking. We'll now prepare the shallot oil. Heat up a pan, pour in one cup of oil. We'll fry our shallots now. We do not have to wait for the oil to be heated up. So just put it in these 50 grams of shallots, thinly slice. I'm going to make this into crispy shallots. And of course, to extract the aroma out from the shallots. I'm using medium to medium low heat now. Don't turn up the heat too high. When you see the shallots start to turn golden brown, we'll just remove them from the oil. Make sure you move them around so that we don't burn them. Once they're starting to brown, we'll remove it from the oil. Okay. Now we'll do the next step. You do not need to turn off the flame. We are now adding 150 grams of red onion, sliced like this, roughly cut up, and also one whole stem of leek. Just put them in. We will just fry them until the aroma comes out and until they are brown on the sides. It will be good enough. Same thing, at medium heat, just stir them around. This will take a little while. I'll show you how it looks like in a while. Once the leek and the onion have browned, we we'll remove them from the oil. Do not turn the heat down, just remove them from the oil. We will not be eating this, so you can throw them away when they have cooled down. The final step for making this beautiful oil, you can use spring onion or you can use scallion, no problem. Three stems or three stalks of it, cut it out in big pieces like this and just put it in. Same thing, we will fry this until they are brown and we we'll remove them from the oil. As you can see, the spring onion have browned already. So we just turn off the heat now and we will strain and keep the oil. We will now prepare the sauce. I'm boiling 250 ml of water. Add in 80 ml of light soya sauce. 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce. 1 tablespoon of dark soya sauce. And 1 tablespoon of sugar. We just wait for this to boil. I'll put the lid on so that it will boil faster. Right. We now give this a taste. Just a little bit will be fine. Just to make sure that it's savory and sweet enough for us. Mm. I think I can use a little bit more sugar. Two more teaspoons of sugar. Now just thicken the sauce up a little bit with cornstarch solution. By doing this, the sauce will stick onto the noodles and this will taste so much better. Okay, now I'm done. I'll just turn off the flame and we'll boil our noodles now. We are going to boil our noodles now. Boil a pot or a pan of water. I'm using dried noodles over here. Of course, you can use any noodles that you fancy. Put in the water. These are known as Chinese ramen. Of course, you can always use egg noodles, fresh noodles, even spaghetti if you want to. Whatever you fancy is fine. So we just cook this until the noodles are soft. The scallion oil or the shallot oil, you can keep them for approximately one month. If you were to put them in the fridge, it's fine. The sauce too, you can put them in the fridge. As and when you're feeling hungry or you want a quick meal, just boil some noodles and pour some of the sauce and oil over it. This will be really, really good. Okay, once the noodles are done, remove them from the water, drain them up well, and I'll show you the next step. Now we'll mix the sauce with the noodles. Add in one tablespoon of the sauce. Of course, if you prefer it saltier like me, you can add a little bit more. One or two teaspoons of the oil. This is going to be so fragrant. We mix them up first before we add in the rest of the ingredients. We now add in a little bit of chopped spring onion and also some crispy shallots. Time to enjoy our lunch. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click a like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.